How's it going everybody? Liam here. Today we have quite an exciting one because Valve has released not only a Steam Deck client beta update, but they have also released SteamOS 3.3 in beta as well. Now, as usual, I will give you a rundown of what is new, and you will actually see in the corner this time me running through the actual update procedure on one of my Steam Deck units. So, for the Steam Deck client beta update, Valve has fixed some native Linux games, so games that are made for Linux, not exiting when force quit through Steam. They finally added a button to clear entered text in the search bar, which was annoying me quite a bit actually, so every time I went to search for something, what I searched for last was still there, and having to just manually clear everything, yeah, that was quite annoying. They also fixed several crashes related to managing screenshots, and several crashes related to non-Steam shortcuts. So for all those external launchers and emulation that you're doing when you add it as a non-Steam game, hopefully now there'll be less issues there. Steam input was also upgraded, so they've added missing deck buttons for gyro enabled and button cord options. They've added support for game bundled virtual menu icons in the in-game deck UI. That sounds pretty cool. And some performance improvements. Additionally, if you actually opt into the SteamOS beta, you will get support for simplified Chinese, traditional Chinese, Japanese and Korean keyboards. But they're not quite done with them, so they do want feedback in their official Steam Deck forum. And they've also re-enabled the adaptive backlight feature. So that's all for the Deck Client beta update, but there is also the SteamOS 3.3 beta. So that one is where you get the support for the extra keyboards, but they've also fixed a performance issue with some games when the backlight changes intensity. So the adaptive brightness toggle is now active again in the Steam Client beta. There's an updated graphics driver as well with compatibility and performance fixes. They've updated the wireless driver with fixes for Wi-Fi disconnection issues on 5 gig. I know quite a lot of you are actually having issues with that, so let me know in the comments if it is any better for you if you're trying out SteamOS 3.3 beta. Desktop mode got a little bit better as well because they've now added in a built-in controller driver. So when Steam isn't running, the controls in desktop mode should actually be quite a bit better. And various fixes like the panel staying off when disconnecting from a dock shortly after resuming from sleep. The panel backlight staying on while docked has been fixed. Support for the Canva Obsidian and Canva Dragon arcade sticks. A fix for washed out colours in the remote play client when playing with specific hosts. A fix for echo cancellation CPU overhead when the microphone isn't being used. So now we should see improved power usage in idle or near idle scenarios thanks to that. The Bluetooth profile selection not being saved when switching away from desktop mode was fixed. Multi-channel audio on external displays was also fixed. Audio out on some capture cards was fixed. Some instances of corrupt audio after resuming from sleep was fixed. And audio output with some 32-bit games that use a tech called ALSA was also fixed. To get both of those updates, what you need to do is press the Steam button, go into the settings and then the system settings, and then you can activate it from both dropdowns and you'll need to restart an update as you've seen in the corner of this video as I'm doing it. So let me know in the comments how you are getting on with both of those beta updates. And I will catch you guys in the next video.